Are you hoping to squeeze the most out of your Intel processor? Overclocking your CPU might be the answer. Overclocking is the process of increasing your CPU's clock speed and letting it perform faster than its standard settings. This can be especially beneficial for resource-heavy tasks like gaming or video editing, as it helps your computer work faster and feel more responsive overall. In this video, we'll walk you through the process of safely overclocking your Intel CPU without burning it down. First, ask yourself, do you really need to overclock your current Intel CPU? The answer would be yes if you're into serious gaming and want to maximize FPS, or if you regularly deal with tasks like video editing or 3D modeling that require substantial processing power, overclocking your hardware can improve performance. But remember, overclocking generates extra heat, so having proper cooling, whether it's air or a liquid cooling system, is essential for keeping everything running smoothly. And the answer would be no if you are a laptop user. Laptops often come with less effective cooling systems, which makes them prone to overheating when overclocked. For casual activities like browsing the internet or streaming videos, there's no real need to overclock your device. Additionally, if you're uncertain about tweaking your system settings, it's important to note that improper overclocking can cause instability or even damage your hardware. Before attempting to overclock, verify that your system is compatible. Overclocking isn't supported by every CPU or motherboard. Overclockable processors often have model names ending in K or KF, such as the Intel Core i7-12700K, which allows you to modify its clock speed via unlocked multipliers. Additionally, select a motherboard with an Intel chipset like Z490, Z590, Z690, or a newer version, as these models include BIOS or UEFI features necessary for overclocking. So it's finally time to overclock your Intel processor. Follow these steps carefully. Before getting started with overclocking, it's important to have the right tools for monitoring your CPU's performance and stress testing its stability. You can use programs such as CPU-Z, HW Monitor, or Core Temp to track key metrics like clock speeds, voltages, and temperatures. Additionally, download stress testing software like Prime95, Cinebench, or Ada64 to put your CPU under heavy load and verify the stability of your overclocked system. One of the most common and effective techniques for overclocking is to access the BIOS or UEFI settings. This process provides the opportunity for fine-tuning and maximizing performance. To start, reboot your computer and repeatedly press the BIOS key during the boot-up to access the BIOS menu. Within this interface, navigate to sections such as Overclocking, CPU Configuration, or AI Tweaker, depending on your motherboard. This will enable you to modify vital CPU settings, including clock speed, voltage, and memory configurations. Begin with the CPU multiplier, which helps you calculate your processor's frequency. For instance, with a base clock of 100 MHz and a multiplier of 50, the resulting frequency would be 5,000 MHz or 5 GHz. It's recommended to make these changes in increments of 100 MHz because it ensures you test for stability after each adjustment. Next, configure the CPU core ratio, often referred to as CPU voltage or V-core. The V-core should be set to 1.25 volts, noting that the maximum for most Intel processors typically hovers around 1.40 volts. If you need to raise the voltage, do so cautiously in increments of 0.01 volts or 0.05 volts at most. Set the LLC level to medium to counteract voltage droop. Once these adjustments are made, reboot the system and run the same benchmarks utilized to establish your baseline performance. By comparing the overclocked results with the baseline stats, you can assess your performance gains. Finally, stress test your system for stability and remember to conduct further stress tests following each adjustment made. Intel provides two primary tools for CPU overclocking, the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility and Intel Performance Maximizer. For those who are new to overclocking, Intel XTU is the more user-friendly option as it automates many of the tasks involved. To use it, first download and install the software. Once installed, close any other applications, leaving only Intel XTU open. 
Access the AI Assist feature from the left sidebar and select the Characterize option. This will initiate a series of tests that evaluate your CPU's baseline performance and potential for overclocking, typically taking less than a minute. After the tests, you'll see a list of estimated values that display both the current settings and the new values that will be implemented once you proceed with the overclocking. Review these adjustments, and when ready, click Apply to save the changes. It's important to restart your computer afterward to test the new overclocking settings, ensuring everything runs smoothly. As for Intel PM, begin by downloading the appropriate version for your CPU, which can typically be found on a sticker affixed to your computer. If you don't locate a sticker, you can find the processor name by navigating to Control Panel, then Security, then System. After downloading, extract the zip file, open the installer, accept the license agreement, and proceed with the installation. Once the installation completes, a restart of your computer is necessary. Launch Intel Performance Maximizer, review the warning message, agree to the terms, and click Continue. You will then be prompted to select a drive on your computer to create a UEFI partition. If there's insufficient space on the selected drive, the software can utilize available space from other drives. After creating the partition, click Continue to initiate performance testing. Once the testing concludes, your computer will restart and you will receive a summary of the enhancements made. Click Finish to complete the process. To ensure system stability, run a few programs and then restart your PC to conduct a stress test. To avoid damaging your computer's components while overclocking, it's vital to track the changes you implement as you push your PC to its limits. Tools like Intel XTU and CPU-Z are excellent for performing stress tests on your system. Additionally, keeping a vigilant eye on your PC's temperature is necessary to ensure it does not exceed 100 degrees Celsius. While both overclocking and Intel Turbo Boost aim to increase a processor's speed by raising its clock multiplier, they are fundamentally different in their operation. Turbo Boost is an automated feature available on numerous Intel Core processors, which enables them to adjust their speed dynamically as needed. Conversely, overclocking involves a manual process initiated by the user, often requiring specific software tools, and is only feasible on processors with unlocked multipliers. Intel Turbo Boost technology automatically accelerates the CPU's clock speed when required, particularly in scenarios like gaming or intensive workloads. Some motherboards provide the capability to manually adjust the Turbo Boost parameters, effectively allowing users to engage in a type of overclocking. While this isn't a conventional overclocking method, upgrading to superior cooling solutions, such as advanced air coolers or liquid cooling systems, can support more aggressive overclocking by effectively managing increased thermal output. Proper cooling is vital for maintaining stability during the overclocking process. So the last headache for your head, is it safe to overclock an Intel CPU? As long as you utilize one of Intel's automated tools mentioned earlier, you can be confident that your computer will remain safe. But if you choose to manually overclock your CPU, there is a possibility of damaging the motherboard, which could also void your warranty. To get you there, we've described every step easily so that anyone new with the computer can still be able to overclock Intel CPU. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.